Student parking has opened up for juniors. Stop by the Student Activities Office, room 280, in the West Wing to pick up an application. Life Touch will be here on January 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21 for senior portraits. The yearbook pictures and the picture of you, you and your cap and gown are free. This, is, this will be your last chance to have your senior portrait taken. Make your appointment today. If you would like extra help in Spanish, sign up for the Empire program. Ms. Pimentel is tutoring on lev all levels on Tuesday and Thursday in room 145 from 220 to 350. The Colonnade Magazine is looking for student work for the annual publication. Please submit your poems, short stories, plays, or your photographs, artwork, doodles to the Colonnade Advisors, Mr. Walls and Mrs. McCurdy. Feel free to contact them with any questions at rwalls at necsd.net or vmccurdy at necsd.net. As a reminder to our students, you must have your ID with you and visible at all times. There will be various security checks throughout the building where your ID will need to be presented if you are in the hallway after the bell. If you do not have your ID, you will be detained. Have a, have a great, great day, day NFA. NFA. El estacionamiento se ha abierto para los estudiantes de tercer año. Pasa por la oficina de actividades estudiantiles en el ala oeste para recoger una aplicación. LifeTouch estará aquí desde el 18 de enero hasta el 21 de enero para los retratos de seniors. La imagen del anuario y la foto tuya con tu to toga y billete son gratis. Esta será la última op oportunidad para que se tomen tus retratos del último año. Haz tu cita hoy. Por favor recuerden que tienen que tener su identificación con ustedes todo el tiempo. Por toda la escuela van a preguntar por tu identificación y si estás tarde, si no tienes tu identificación, te van a mandar al auditorio. Que tengan un buen día, NF. We had a huge problem yesterday. A motor controller failed. My personal truck that we used to get towed here got stolen on Tuesday. Yeah. So we we're like so excited. Awesome. 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 We knew we picked the right one.
timing was perfect. Like, I think your total time was like 22. So you're good. I don't know if there's anything you yeah. can feel like you can do better as far as efficiency. Yeah. 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 Just focus on yeah. that. But your timing was perfect. You were smooth. It looked really, really good. Were you coasting up this hill up here? You cut in, right? I didn't think so. Um, maybe um, try to... There's another hill somewhere else, right? No other incline? Okay, so try to keep your... There's downhill, okay, so get speed on that, but also on this straight over here. Get speed so when you come around, you don't have to use any power to come up the hill, you know what I mean? Even if you have to do a wide sweep, wide arc. Try it. Just try it out. Don't Since we already crazy. did one successful yeah. run, but Just if it doesn't it. feel right, then yeah. back off. Oh, you're saying that it, did it affect maybe breaking down? No. Uh, I think it's either the battery or the uh, one of the vets. So we went on the track again today. We qualify to go to the qualifying uh, laps for the Drivers World Championship later today. And then everything was great, coasting into the turns, it was all good. We got 49 kilowatts, I think, yeah. And then we went out again, we switched out the batteries, we went out for a second lap. I think I got to lap four, I, I'm not sure how many I got. We uh, just had a little issue now, we were trying to do a second run, just to get a little bit more efficient. Uh, our board shorted out though, because one of our connections came undone from just all the handling we've been doing. It, it feels good to at least get like one lap in so that we qualify, so. I think I'm happy, everybody else on the team is happy. It's a good day so far. So this morning I woke up, saw a text from my mom. She sent me a link to uh, the Detroit Free Press paper, and we were the uh, the first pic the first picture in that link. So we uh, were on the front of that little article there. They um they must have liked when Katie was going around and turns at uh, 45 miles an hour because we uh, miscalculated the time we needed for each lap. So yeah, they were um, they were loving the way she was running the car out there and decided to put her on the front. So first night, less than 10 hours, my truck, my pride and joy, my baby, got stolen from me, from my hotel. Um, and we leave tomorrow, so we have to figure out how we're gonna do this. We gotta get a five, six, seven thousand pound trailer home with all kids' gear and stuff. But our focus this week, and I told the kids, I don't even wanna talk about it, let's just get this car done. Let's just get this thing successfully through its paces, 10 laps, under 24 minutes. We just did it, so. It only can get better from here, and that's what we're going to do, no matter what. We're going through tech again because we managed to qualify for the qualifying race for the DWC. So what they're doing is they're making sure that our car fits the specifications for Chapter 3 of the rule book, which is suited for the European Cup, because we're going to race in London if we do qualify to go to London. Out of nine teams, they're going to take three. The top three, who are the fastest and most fuel efficient, will go to London to compete. So we just took the car through final inspections. We passed everything and we're ready to go out to the final race. So the qualify lap consists of the braking test. Okay. The dynamic braking test is basically we have, to, we have to go at our max speed and then we have to brake at a certain line and make sure we don't pass the second line they put, which is 20 meters out. And then we also have to make sure we can go around the track with our energy okay. that they give us. Once we do that, since there's only eight teams, we are going to qualify for the final one because we are going to pass the braking test too because we did that in London. I like it. <laughs> so once that is done, then based off the energy efficiency and the, how we do in the qualifying lap, that's where they're going to place us on the track. Ah, okay. So they're going to place the numbers okay. one through eight. Okay. 
So. What they were doing by how you got energy from the flex No, no, it should be it's off this. It's off of this in the next few next. Okay. Yeah, it's not based it off. It does, yeah, because it includes acceleration rather than coasting. Yeah, posting. and the, um, what's it called? And the way they calculate it is they take it for the 10 laps, they divide it by 10 to get a per lap, and they get um, 40% of that. Okay. So basically, you're left with that, and it's a five lap race, straight forward, just going around five times. It just feels wonderful, you know? I mean, I've been on this scene for four years, and to see this car transform from starting out from not even having a motor controller to going back to London for the second time and competing internationally, it's just a, a feeling that, it's a one in a kind, feeling of one of a kind. Yeah. You know, our team worked together, and we were able to put all this work and passion and drive, able to produce this wonderful car that was able to come in third place in this competition. I'm just really proud. We um, all worked together. We all were able to collaborate with one another and all were able to innovate and be real engineers and create something wonderful. So I'm, re I'm really happy right now. I'm just really glad.
that we're going back to London again. Our eco Danica Patrick. How did that feel? Were you nervous? Uh, kind of. But it was going good after like lap four. I was like, okay, I got this. Well, you had a lot of energy. We were watching the uh, great start up there. You were going very, very well to conserve your energy. Was that a big, um, was that one of your game plans that maybe you were hoping they'd run out? Yeah, it was. You are? Yeah. What made you think that? Was it early in the race or just before the race you were talking to your team and getting the run down? Before the race, we were talking about the best way to go about this. Okay, well, bringing home our girl trophy. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah, we placed, I can't even talk right now, it's crazy. We uh, we placed third place um, in the DWC North America. So, um, qualifier. yeah, the regional qualifier. So now we are we are in, ready to go to London. Um, it was a crazy race. It was a grueling race. In the beginning of the race, so it rained right before we got on the track, so it was kind of slippery. And a lot of cars aren't really equipped with the right tires. So coming around the turn, it's really tight, and it's an uphill. So a lot of the cars had a really bad time. One of the cars actually turned at a three, uh, 180, nice. and he started rolling back down the hill. Right in the beginning of the race. Second lap. Second lap, huge crash. Our expert driver, Elena King, just counter-steered, got out of it, avoided spinning around like other cars that were disqualified after that. So everybody else that came after him, there was a big pileup, and I wasn't aware. Boondor couldn't see, and he was on the phone with me, and he said, oh, there's just one car in front of you. You'll be fine. Just be careful. So I was like, okay, let's go on the outside. And when I got there, a car hit me, and I was like, why are there so many? And I had to counter stare my way out of it, and it was, it was all good. At the end, she had, like, 11% uh, efficiency left, or uh, yeah. fuel left, so yeah. we, had, we had to conserve it right to the end. So if she ran out, it would have been game over. And and she coasted pretty much the entire last lap, right, yep. you say? And then right at the end, fourth place was right on her tail. We, we literally beat them by like a, a nose. Yeah, it was, it was wild. Wow. Expert finish. I mean, she really showed her composure the entire time. First of all, I started in last. Okay, I started in last. I may be bad at Mario Kart, but I can drive. Hey, kids, kids. Happy birthday to Victor. Happy birthday. Oh, it's just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, it was uh, almost like watching something on TV, like a real professional race on TV. And uh, I just, it's just amazing. And, and I think, I mean, I really feel that, um, that uh, this was like a gift for all the hard work that our team has done uh, for the past few days. I mean, it's just, it's just an amazing team. I've been doing this for five years. All the teams have been great, but uh, this one particular team is like, everyone was totally on hand, totally on board. Uh, and just uh, just a wonderful, wonderful students and uh, a team to work with, you know. Uh, very supportive and uh, very professional. Last year when we qualified for London, actually, there were, cameras weren't really anywhere. It was just, okay, you're going to London, have fun. But now you go upstairs, you get to meet some people who countered with Shell. I met a guy from HP. I, get, I met a nice woman. She runs her own nonprofit organization out in DC, and they're all really nice. And they're photographers, and they gave you water, and it was, it was really nice. Came around the turn down there at the bottom of the hill, got in a crash. Um, bad deal there, but pulled through, made it up the hill, ended up getting second. It feels great. I feel like a lot of girls and young women, they should be involved. They shouldn't feel as though they don't deserve the right to be in the sciences. I know a lot of people think, oh, it's a guy thing, cars, guys. No, anybody can do it, especially the girls. We, de we deserve it also. I mean, I was talking to her and she was calm, and we're all freaking out, running out back and forth, looking at the stage, looking at the track. Um, the whole team came together. Oh, was Everybody, great. it was a wild week, but at the end of the day, we got it done, we came together, made it happen, we're going to London. Yeah, it was awesome. Right. <laughs> Good. Oh, my heart. <laughs> when we were All watching the boards and we were running back and we we're like, efficiency, efficiency. <laughs> I felt like we were in a movie and everybody yeah. was crazy. Yeah, like Carnival Decks. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not just boom, boom, no. get it done. It's like yeah. as fast yeah. as you can go, but it's efficient. It's the timing, right? Yeah. You got it. It's yeah. all about the timing. Do you even know how much we yeah. used at the end? They don't tell you in kilojoules. They just tell you percentage that you had remaining. What was it? It was like, uh, I think it was 9%. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Nice. So going down to the bitter end. 
thank you guys for all your help, Dolly. Yeah. Oh gosh. Everybody it's truly was... our pleasure. It's truly our pleasure. <laughs> yes. All right. Get home safe. Thank you. Thank you. Feeling great. Uh, I don't know. No words. Speechless, or actually. I was just watching the news and they said how they had their truck stolen and they couldn't get home. So I, I said, I'm retired, I'm not doing nothing, I'm just sitting around bored. So I said, I, no problem, I, I got a truck, I, I'll take them home, you know. You know I, I, don't, I don't mind being on the road, as my family would tell you, I'm always on the road. I don't mind driving, so it's just something to do. And I, if I can help somebody out, you know, just pay it forward, you know, as they say. We'd like to thank Mr. Bundor, Mr. Rohrbeck, Mr. Schweitzer, Mr. Zarnecki, Ms. Blackos, Mr. Valley, and Mr. Wolf. We want to thank you guys for all your hard work. Without you guys, we wouldn't, none of this would be possible. We have a lot of ideas you guys help make realities, and we just really appreciate everything you've done for us. One, two, three, hell!